Hi and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be looking at a base I made a couple of years ago as I put it up on the workshop. Uh, just like to always check these things after they do a lot of updates to make sure that things are still working. Find any uh, mistakes that I might have made the first time around. So this is uh, basically the base I made when I first got Space Engineers and uh, I decided uh, that I wanted to make all of the things that I'd been imagining for years since I was uh, a young child reading science fiction and seeing science fiction movies. Um, you know, all the, the ways I would design spaceships and uh, the way I would design my, my secret base if I ever got the chance. So this is the main building here uh, that we're entering. Little medical room there, control panel, lots of ducts. Lots of uh, conveyors everywhere. I've tried to build the base with uh, all of the proper conveyors connected up to everything. This is uh, overlooking the main uh, design area, I guess you'd call it, and there's the refineries and things like that, storage areas. This is uh, my attempt at a vanilla elevator. And it turns out it doesn't work too badly. Uh, it used to be really jerky because of the way pistons worked, but they've um, they've really fixed the way the pistons work now, so they work a lot better. Now I'm going to ride this one down, I think. Let's see. And down we go. Nice and smooth now. And here we are, this is uh, down to the floor level of the area we were just overlooking. Quite good with uh, the spotlight from the ceiling there and the black uh, motif, I think. Makes it pretty spooky. This is a tunnel that leads down to another cave I dug uh, down right deep inside the mountain, a kind of final bunker. or. Uh, you know, an alien, archeolo alien archaeological site, perhaps. It's another way to look at it. Uh, I'll be showing you that later. I've done a few movies of this base before, uh, which are up on my channel already. Uh, I've never done any explanations of what things actually were, though. It was kind of... Uh, thought it would be more fun for people to discover for themselves when they uh, downloaded this world file, anyway. This is a little backup medical room, uh, safe room I designed, built in under the base, made out of heavy metal blocks. Just, uh, you know, a place, a bolt hole if uh, the other medical rooms are destroyed. This one is um, at least a bit protected and it might last a bit longer than the others. I originally designed this base uh, with um, a couple of teams fighting it out in mind, either uh, fighting for the control of the base or perhaps uh, one team uh, controlling the base and another team attacking from the air. Uh, I think it turned out well. I've included some other things as well that were just uh, ideas that probably aren't really that practical for a game like that, but uh, it's still fun anyway. Going to go upstairs to the control room for this part of the base. Try out my piston elevator again. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, extra little medical rooms hidden in different places. Better protected areas and even uh, hidden away. Up here though, we have the main control room and I guess you'd call it the uh, air traffic control tower for the base. Once we get up there. I really uh, enjoy playing Space Engineers. The um, your imagination really can run wild. 
and you know anything you can imagine you can pretty much build as far as this kind of sci-fi stuff space technology the limits are really just uh, you know the engine itself and um, how much RAM your computer has basically and how fast your processor will run So nice big window overlooking the landing area there. So this was uh, a little extra exit for the base. Uh, it leads to a tunnel uh, which goes up through to the top of the cliff here. Have to use jetpack from this point. But there's a camera set up up there so you can actually look from that part of the base. Back down we go. Oh, I'm stuck. I managed, I tried to cut the uh, corner on the staircase there and actually got stuck between the two blocks. I just need to crouch to uh, get out of it. I found a few mistakes here. Uh, some sections of the control room are actually inaccessible on the foot unless you get into the control chair first. And if you end up uh, stuck down here in front of the window, you can't climb up either. You have to use your jetpack. So back down we go. Alright, probably time to go and have a look at the train. The uh, building just in front of us there is uh, a special connector on a piston to allow the two sections of the base to connect together or be disconnected, the two conveyor systems. This is the train car. Some of the changes in the updates I think have changed the way that uh, wheels work. I was having a little bit of trouble last time when I was uh, loaded this level and I was uh, playing with this. So I want to try changing the height offset on the wheels to maybe tighten them up a little bit because the car was wobbling around a lot. But I'm not 100% sure that I don't have the wheels around the wrong way. So I'm going to try lowering the height offset first and see what kind of difference that makes. It looks like I've doubled up with the wheels groups as well. I've got uh, some wheels in both groups it looks like.
didn't seem to make any difference there. It actually looks like it might be a bit further away from the top rail, that wheel. So we'll try reversing it and raising the offset. Yeah, it definitely looks better. I could probably raise it further, I think. Just checking that I've actually adjusted all of the wheels. It looks like they are in both groups here. I'll have to spend some time looking at those settings in detail now that the, there has been the changes just to get it running smoothly again. Once you get about uh, 80 meters a second or so, uh, you start to develop a wobble, unfortunately. Yeah, I should probably tighten up the suspension a bit as well. Looks like it, uh, yeah, it's getting thrown around a lot there. It's one of the favourite things I've ever made, this uh, railway. Back we go. I wanted to build another base at uh, the end there, at the station where we just were, but I was starting to worry about the uh, overall file size for this base as well. As you can see, there's quite a lot here already. We're going to drive the train car here back to a station about halfway through the mountain. Where uh, we have a little fighter launcher that I modelled on. Um, I guess the first time I saw one was the original Battlestar Galactica movie a long time ago where you have... Uh, a fighter that's launched from within a larger mothership uh, that shoots down a corridor and comes out at high speed. Again, it uh, seems the changes to wheels and a few other things may have made uh, this design a little bit wobbly. Uh, I noticed at the end of the run, just before we launched, that the uh, nose goes up but basically as you can see there's a big pusher car at the back here and it's connected to a fighter at the front uh, by a connector and I have a sensor set up uh, so that when it reaches a certain part of the track it disconnects uh, the connector and uh, leaves the car behind and the fighter keeps going so basically it comes out at high speed so you know if there's uh, enemy fighters perhaps at the other you know outside uh, attacking the base it's a lot harder to hit than uh, a fighter that's taking off from a stationary position and that's slow speed So this is where the nose is going up a little bit, unfortunately. And a little bit of a, a glitch as we came out, but pretty smooth. 
at least the the car isn't still attached which uh, and didn't come out uh, of the tunnel and crash down the mountain which has happened before so we'll fly back uh, this is a big tower uh, with some landing pads on it probably a few too many turrets on it to really be realistic as you can see it uh, struggles a bit as we pass that uh, having to render them all certainly when they're all firing at once the frame rate you know really dives so we're going to go down into the lower level of the base basically where that tunnel uh, that we saw earlier leads to leading down inside the, the mountain So the way I looked at this part was uh, possibly it was uh, an alien archaeological site that uh, another civilization had found and was exploring. So they would built the base up in the cliff uh, to protect their find because it had some significance. And this is the old alien structures uh, down under, underneath the main base. I have uh, designed some of the interior of the pyramid. I actually designed some traps, uh, you know, rooms that would seal when you walked into them and suck all the oxygen out, or, uh, you know, the floor would suddenly be disappear into grinders and you'd, uh, you know, you'd fall into the grinders as well. Great stuff like that. I was trying to set up one uh, a boulder like in uh, Indiana Jones that would um, roll down a corridor on you. But. I didn't get that far with them, unfortunately, uh, but hopefully I can start developing them again. These are some uh, larger ships, hydrogen-powered ships. Unfortunately, with those uh, changes to the way that uh, viewing works, uh, they're not going to work without cameras uh, put on the front of them, unfortunately. But they're basically very large hydrogen powered uh, ships with turrets all over them and a lot of armor. Basically that's, uh, what they call it, uh, the plate armor blocks. And these ships have the same sort of design philosophy of having a, a layer of, of destructible heavy armor blocks uh, in the areas which are most likely to be hit. protecting the uh, pilot as much as possible since I believe the AI in uh, the game automatically targets the cockpit of any uh, any ship so this is the big pyramid hope you've enjoyed this little look have a great day